This is Paul Brarin here at VMworld 2018 US. And I visited the Micron booth where I'm standing here with Eric and Jacob. And uh, Eric, what's your role at Micron? I'm business development manager. Uh, I work with uh, hyperscale customers. All right, and Jacob? Uh, a DRAM applications engineer. All right, so um, people who visit my site, tickertry.com, excuse me, tend to visit for the you know nerdy bits. Now you guys are showing off PMEM. Now you don't necessarily call it PMEM. What's the acronym you use at Micron? Use the NVDIM dash N for non volatile memory. All right, great. So um, I see you have a demo where the lights are actually blinking. This thing's powered on, which is nice. Uh, which Dell model is this? Uh, that's a 740. All right, great. And can you show me what are you showing on the screen with a, a demo of PMEM? Certainly. Uh, so what we're just showing is that we. You can hold the mic. First. Okay. Uh, so what we're showing is with NVDIM, uh, NVDIM basically is a DRAM module. On one side, it has DRAM. On the other side, it has uh, non-volatile memory. Uh, in this case, it's NAND. There's a controller on it. Um, and for a first order of um, uh, approximation is uh, when you have power to your system, it works like an RDIM. Uh, everything works uh, at DRAM speeds. The magic really happens when power is like, catastrophically lost, um, and then data comes is uh, moved over from the uh, uh, memory into the NAND. When the system boots back up, then the data is pulled back over and put into the DRAM. When the OS comes up, um, it has no idea that the data wasn't there always. And so we're just showing. So yeah, you're talking a little bit about destaging and the worst case scenario where power is pulled in the middle of an I.O., right? So yeah, if you can get into how that works a little bit and what are you actually showing over here? Okay, so what we're showing, what we're showing is um, we have the persistent memory actually virtualized with uh, 6.7, vSphere 6.7. Um, we're showing with we're showing uh, two virtual machines. One exercising FIO uh, with the NVMe, which is a very fast uh, 9200, um, and we're also showing the NVDIM dash uh, or NVDIM uh, number one virtual machine, uh, and we're showing that the performance is much much better, about four times the amount of bandwidth, much lower latency, and much higher IOPS. All right. So how are you actually pulling this off? And Jacob, you can talk about this too. Um, What's running behind the covers? Am I looking at iometer with a pretty skin on it? Uh, you are looking at a pretty skin that I created, uh, and FIO is running in the background. So all the so this is one virtual machine that is just handles the uh, UI. Then we have three other virtual machines in the background that are actually running the uh, FIO benchmark tests. I'm going in, jumping through those virtual machines, and grabbing the data that we need to present it. Awesome. Recently, VMware's done some blog posts about how do you actually implement PMEM or NVDEMs. Can you go through, like, what does this look like to the VM when you configure this demo behind the scenes? What did that setup look like? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, I can do that. Um, so, really, if you have uh, vSphere 6.7 and if you have uh, a server that allows virtual uh, persistent memory to be virtualized, you're pretty much good to go. It's a very plug and play. Uh, type of, of environment. You plug in the NVDIMs into the correct channels, uh, you boot up your EXI server, um, the vSphere recognizes the uh, NVDIMs as persistent memory and it creates a PMEM data store. Once from there you can add an NVDIM controller to a virtual machine and you're good to go. You can allocate however much storage you want to uh, a virtual machine. All right, great. I really appreciate this overview of Persistent storage, yes, and you got to, he's going to take off the lid. Awesome. I'm glad I kept the camera rolling. Even better. Uh, just so briefly, so a lot of times we have confusion about form factor. Um, NVDIM dash in is really exciting. In this particular Dell, we have the battery right here. You'll have the fan spin up just a little bit. But you, you can see in here, you'll see our DIMs. Um, our DIMs are just the regular modules where the ones that have the LEDs um, on them, those are actually the NVDIMs. Now, let me see if I can lay this down. Okay, if you take a look at, uh, this is just a module. Let's see, can you see my fingers? That module is just a normal RDIM. You see the DRAM on the bottom. Versus if you see right here, this is the NVDIM. If you look down there, you can see um, uh, the DRAM on the bottom, but right here there's a square. That square is a controller. And then right below me, that uh, piece of silicon, that's the NAND. All right, so in 6.7, when you, uh look at the list of storage devices, just to point out if people didn't notice yet, NVMe, each show is their own device with a high Q depth, right? It's basically like mini RAID controller, kind of, sort of. You could elaborate a little bit about how that works? 
yeah, so uh, vSphere just automatically creates a a regular data store. It, there's, it, it, it combines all the NVDMs together into one single data store. All right, and I appreciate your look, give me a look at the physical, right, and the little tiny square that represents an, an individual NVMe controller. So when you look at this system with 6.7 on it, you see a whole bunch of NVMe storage controllers in addition to storage devices. That's just the way NVMe works. It's very different than SAS and SATA that people might be used to. So uh, uh, thank you again, Eric and Jacob, for this overview. I really appreciate it. It was great to meet you.